Welcome to Ennam Serena. In this video, we are going to discuss the money market institutions. First of all, let us see what are the money market institutions. They are those institutions that deal in lending and borrowing of short term funds. Major institutions in money market includes the commercial banks, central bank, acceptance houses and the non-banking financial intermediaries. Commercial banks are the backbone of the money market. They form one of the major components of the money market. These banks use their short-term deposits for financing trade and commerce for short periods. And they invest their funds in the discounting of bills of exchange, both commercial banks and treasury bills or government bills. And the commercial banks lend against promissory notes and through advances and overdrafts. The call money loans are also provided by these banks to the bill brokers and dealers in the stock market. And they put their excess reserves in different forms which satisfy their principles of liquidity and profitability. The main aim is that funds invested earn income as well as they are liquid. And in addition to commercial banks, there are cooperative banks, financial companies, etc. Uh, they all form part of the money market. The central bank plays a vital role in the money market. It is the monetary authority and is regarded as an apex institution and the controller of money market. And the central bank is the lender of last resort and the guardian of the money market also. The member banks may approach the central bank for loans and advances during emergency and it raises or reduces the money supply and provide credit to ensure economic stability in the country. Uh, another important point is that the performance of central bank depends on the character and composition of the money market. But the central bank does not enter into direct transactions. It controls the money market through changes in the bank rate and open market operations. The acceptance houses and bill brokers are the main institutions dealing in the bill market. The institution of uh, acceptance houses, that concept was uh, developed in England and the London money market, these houses are in existence. And these houses are specialized in the acceptance of trade bills or commercial bills. And they perform as an intermediary between the lenders and the borrowers. They accept those bills which were drawn on merchants whose financial standing was not known in order to make the bills negotiable in the money market. And the discounting of such acceptance bill is done in such markets like London money market by specialized agency called discount houses. And they guarantee payment of these bills on maturity. They also charge a commission for this guarantee provided. In addition to the commercial banks, there are non-banking financial intermediaries that support in the lending and borrowing of funds for short periods. In the non-banking financial intermediaries, we can include the saving banks, investment houses, insurance companies, the building societies, provident funds and uh, certain cheat funds also. In addition to these institutions, this function uh, is also done by certain bill brokers. There are bill brokers who work as intermediaries between the borrowers and lenders by discounting bills of exchange at a small commission. In an underdeveloped money market, bill brokers are quite important intermediaries because they support in the lending and borrowing of funds. 
so we have discussed the major institutions in the money market thank you for watching this video for more videos subscribe the channel